all right guys welcome back to the other video in this video i'm going to install and set up all the requirement in order to purchase the ks9 uh, declassified data set so using this software we will be able to generate the ortho photo and the corresponding dem of that particular area so in order to do that we need to install the hex heximap software so let's get it started. The Heximap software installation is quite simple, but the dependency installation is quite hectic. So if you are not from the MATLAB uh, background, so it might be a little bit hectic. So in order to like install the software, you need MATLAB version 18 or the newer, and also the uh, you need OpenCV max open cv and uh, that's all so and then also the uh, input data set uh, for me uh, i'm using ks9 hexagon satellite uh, imagery from uh, from usgs earth explorer so let me give you some quick uh, things that you need to do in order to install the softwares so first thing is uh, definitely you need to install the MATLAB. Uh, so I since I already installed it, I don't need it. MATLAB, uh, I installed 2020 version. And after that, you need to install the Max Open CB software. Uh, in order to install this, uh, there are a little bit few complications and it might take uh, uh, about i think one hour uh, in order to install these all things and maybe more than one hour but in this video i'll give you a quick summary how to install these things and set up properly uh, the heximap software so first thing is you need to download the uh, opencv so let me open the uh, max opencv software repository and here in the build uh, so you will get the windows installation since i am on the windows maybe if you are on the linux or um, in the mac os it's it looks like it's a few step process but for the windows you need to follow this uh, wiki uh, installation and first thing is of course uh, as i mentioned in my note the uh, first thing is open cv and in open cv you need to like uh, the recommend rec you need to download this open cv and open cv country package uh, the recommended method is uh, to just simply click these two files and it will install the uh, zip file and then simply extract the zip file and you will get the, the actual code uh, that needs to uh, download and after that so you need to like create the dev folder inside c drive and then uh, keep the opencv and opencv contrib files like this so here in the c drive inside dev so right now i have other files as well since i already built already installed the software but for you you just need to like create the opencv folder and then make sure uh, your opencv folder uh, inside your opencv folder you can see the readme file and then these kind of files if you install the 3.4.1 version and also in the opencv country uh, make sure you uh, you you uh, add the files in this order uh, and yeah so that's the that's our first step and after that uh, you need to download the cmake and then c++ compiler and uh, i have like uh, mentioned the uh, link i'll mention these links in the description below as well so you can download any version of cmake software it's the open source and also the C++ uh, C++ compiler and for the C++ compiler so the C make you make sure you install the uh, Windows 64 installer this this one and then installation is quite simple and for the uh, C++ compiler uh, you can install min gw 
64 version simply download and then installation is pretty simple uh, simply click install enter enter and then by clicking this link uh, you can download the visual studio 2015 version and uh, it's for windows 10 uh, i think it might work for windows 11 as well and yeah so so these are the links and after that um, in the cmic gui so let me show you how it looks like cmic gui and in the cmic gui so you need to add the where is the source code and then you can of course browse and then browse it to the dev folder and then open cv which is right here and then click ok and then uh, where to add the build binary and then provide this link and then after that i think uh, you don't need to do anything so you just create the configure and then it will uh, simply generate these files uh, by default it will not be available here and after like building these things configuring these things you need to like uh, unselect these packages and just simply follow these uh, steps it's quite straightforward and after that after building everything so simply close it and then now it's time to like uh, compile our opencv so in order to compile the opencv if you did uh, everything correctly so inside the build folder you will see opencv.sln file and simply double click uh, if you double click it it will open the visual studio um, visual studio 2015 version and if you are not logged in make sure you log in so i log in my account and here basically you need to do only the two things so the first thing is you need to click on make sure you change it to the uh, release version and after that uh, you need to click on all build and then enter build since i already install it i am not going to click anything but i am just showing um, after that you need to like click on install and then build these things so these steps are explained over here so these are the like same thing and after that you will see the install folder in beginning there is no install folder and then after that you get this install folder and after that you need to add uh, your uh, environment variable so system edit system environment variable all right so in the environment variable you can go to the environment variable and then inside path you need to add this path c dev build install x64 vc14 and then bin yeah so if you did it correctly after that uh, you need to like open the uh, matlab and then uh, now let me first of all close these things uh, and uh, you need to like open the matlab and then you need to add these paths and um, after that you need to like finally make it and uh, make sure uh, if if this make command is not working then make sure uh, to run this command first so uh, this command mex set up cpp it will uh, simply set up the c++ compiler in the uh, matlab so after like setting up everything and then uh, try again to like create the make file and after that if you did everything correctly then you will get uh, this kind of information and uh, that means uh, your book max open cb is uh, successfully installed 
and yeah so if the yeah everything is installed perfectly so now it's the last step is to install the heximap so in order to install the heximap similarly you have to like download the heximap uh, file simply by like code and then uh, download zip and extract or download it from a uh, git and after downloading this package and you need to run this command uh, in order to add it to the path okay so and then my path is c i think i can copy it from here dev xmap and then om okay maybe home and copy path and then p remove stitch okay yeah and similarly i can uh, add the path to the uh, open cv max let me make sure it mex open cv yeah so it enter and after that if you install it successfully if you run the stitch command so it should uh, open it should open uh, some window so let's see yeah now it's opening something that means our software is installed perfectly and yeah that's the like main goal of this video in order to install and set up all the dependencies so in next video i'll show you how to like process the ks9 uh, which is keyhole imagery from spy set lights so yeah that's all i hope you enjoyed it if you like it hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks